From the Mayborn School of Journalism at the University of North Texas, this is NT Daily News. The Mean Green soccer team gets ready to kick off the NCAA tournament. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sierra Galvez. And I'm Marshall Green. After winning the Conference USA Tournament this past Sunday, the Mean Green soccer team will travel to Fayetteville, Arkansas to take on the Razorbacks in the first round of the NCAA Tournament. For the third time in a row, John Hedlund will lead UNT into the NCAA Tournament. With the Mean Green losing in the first round of the tournament in the last two seasons, the coaching staff believes the experience the team gained will benefit it this time around. I mean, last year we had to go to A&M, they were ranked top 10 in the country. Uh, so is Arkansas, they're ranked sixth right now, nationally ranked. So both very similar teams. Uh, Arkansas is a little bit more physical, a little bit more direct. Their style is a little bit different. But two outstanding teams we've had to play in the last two years. Assistant coach for Benatar knows the Mean Green will face a team in Arkansas with a very similar style of play. And that one team style of play will determine the outcome. You know, Arkansas is a tough opponent, so they are similar to us in many ways. So hopefully we'll take them out of their game knowing they have to de deal with us similarly with long balls, direct, physical play. Eleven players from last year's team returned to UNT for another season. And Coach Hedlund thinks despite coming up short in the 2018 NCAA tournament, the team took a lot away from the game. I think, you know, just the experience from last year, being on that big stage with a lot of our younger players, our goalkeeper that was her first big stage playing playing at A&M in the NCAAs. So we're hoping that experience from last year uh, will really help us in this year's game. The team is led by three seniors, and those girls know what they do in this year's postseason run will define their legacy as UNT women's soccer players forever. I think they want to they want to make history. History tomorrow would be scoring a goal. In, in winning the game, scoring for sure, we haven't scored in postseason play, and then still later rounds, and then um, for sure winning. So that would be huge for this. They would break history, and so those seniors would not only have that piece of history, but other other pieces to go along that we've covered through the year: brand new facility, conference title, um, All American, you know, so just other other pieces of the home stretch, the winning streak. Uh, those are all pieces that have come together this year, but this would be the icing on the cake for sure. The game is scheduled for November 15th and will kick off at 6.30. The regular season is winding down for the UNT football team. With just two games remaining, the Mean Green have an outside chance to earn a bowl invitation. If North Texas defeats Rice this weekend and UAB on November 30th, they will have six wins. Teams with seven wins are guaranteed to play in a bowl game, but teams with six can get invited. For UNT to increase their bowl chances, they will need to win out and finish at six wins. According to a new ranking released by MoneyWise.com, UNT's Apogee Stadium ranks as one of the worst stadiums in college football. Ranked 31st worst in Division I, critics of Apogee cite difficult parking, lackluster attendance, and the team struggles. However, Apogee Stadium is one of the only LEED certified stadiums in the country. LEED, or Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, helps team build environmentally responsible stadiums. From the field to the court, the North Texas men's and women's basketball seasons have begun. The men's team is 1-2 with their next game this Saturday at home versus Eastern Michigan. On November 22nd, the team travels to Jamaica to play in the Jersey Mike's Jamaica Classic. The women's team is 1-1 one and, one and will go west to Hawaii for the Rainbow Wahine Showdown Tournament beginning November 29th. Two Denton high schools prepare to start their postseason with eyes on a state title. Coming out of District 4, 5A and fresh off their 50th consecutive win, Denton Ryan opens the playoffs tonight at home against Granbury at 7 p.m. Ryan made it to the semifinals last season before falling to Highland Park. After finishing second in District 5, 6A with a 9-1 record, Denton Geyer will host the Hebron Hawks in the opening round playoff game this Friday night at 7.30. Geyer lost in the second round last season to Lake Ridge. Last night in the NBA, there were a pair of father-son moments that were pretty different. First, in Houston, Los Angeles Clippers head coach Doc Rivers was ejected with two technical fouls. However, it was a Rockets player on the other team that was egging him on. That player, Austin Rivers, is Doc's son. Austin actually used to play for his dad and the Clippers, but was traded to Washington in 2018 before becoming a member of the Rockets. After the game, Austin tweeted, well, Thanksgiving is going to be weird. On a happier note, Memphis Grizzlies rookie Jay Morant made one of his first big NBA memories last night. On the road in Charlotte, last summer's second overall pick hit a game-winning shot on the road. 
Morant went to high school just hours outside of Charlotte, and his dad was on hand to watch his son and celebrate with him after he made the game winner. For the first time since being traded, Kristaps Porzingis res returns to New York and Madison Square Garden to face his former team. The Dallas Mavericks take on the Knicks tonight in a highly anticipated game between Porzingis and his old team, who traded the disgruntled star to the Mavericks in January. A week ago, the Knicks beat the Mavericks in Dallas 106-102 to for just their second win of the season. New York hasn't won since, since while Dallas ha has lost two of their three after starting 5-2. The game will be nationally broadcast on TNT at 7 o'clock. The Dallas Cowboys will take on the Lions this week after a tough loss to the Vikings last week. The Cowboys' current record is 5-4 and the Lions are standing at 3-5. The Lions have home team advantage but have also lost their last home game. The Cowboys are currently leading the NFC East with their first three wins but might struggle with getting a spot in the playoffs if they don't win this week. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for joining us. For NT Daily News, we'll see you next time.